I am such a Florida girl when it comes to snow and I am stressed. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, I just tried on wedding dresses for the first time ever. And what a surreal moment this was. I don't think I'm going to include any of them in here. Sorry. I know, I'm going to just tell you from, from the top now. I'm not even going to give you the cliffhanger, anything like that, because I still have a couple more bridal appointments. But like, I truly, aside from those appointments, I really, 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 and I'm not just saying this, I feel like I found the one. And it's so wild because it was the first one I tried on. I picked it from their Instagram and I went and I was like, hey, do you have this dress in? And they were like, yep, we got it. And it was the first dress of like 11 that I tried on today. And I just, everyone I tried on, it would get on me. I was like, nope, not it. Nope, not it. I kept putting more on, went out there, stood on the little stool, did the whole thing. But like nothing was the first dress. And so I just feel so happy and it feels so real. Like they put the, the veil on in the back and <sighs> I don't know. It's just, it's so crazy. Like I just feel so... I don't know. I'm trying to vlog right now because I, I, I'm feeling all the feelings right now. And I wanted to do a little bit while I was at the bridal store, like to, to show you guys. And I think eventually I'll do like a wedding dresses I didn't pick and like take you through a little bit more of that. Like, especially after I do these next few appointments in Florida, those are going to be in March, but yeah, I, I'm going to wait a little bit. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys later on, but just know that the process is going and I can't wait to take you guys along through it. I'm, I, as soon as I pick the one for sure, for sure. And I'm hoping it's this one. Cause I'd be so happy if so, um, I'll do the whole like dresses I didn't pick and like talk you guys through the whole process. But I was really nervous because to be honest, like I've been trying to find a, a gauge, an engagement dress that I'm going to wear for our engagement photo shoot in February. And I am struggling. Like I keep trying to find dresses and I'm like so small chested up here, but my hips are so much wider. And like, I just feel like I don't fit into these dresses and it's so difficult trying to squeeze into something or something just like overwhelmingly big on me. And I've ordered like last week or a couple weeks ago, I ordered five dresses from Lulu's. Okay. Like they, everyone says, go, go to Lulu's. They have the best dresses. They're so pretty. And it's so sad because like I, I wanted, I wanted to love them after going through, I want to say I ordered about, so I ordered five from Lulu's. I ordered one off Amazon and so six dresses in like the past week and a half or so hated all of them. And it's discouraging because I'm like, well, what the heck? I still don't know what I'm going to, I feel like I found my wedding dress before I'm finding this engagement photo shoot dress, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I went in today and I was like, I don't know if this is like, if I'm going to enjoy this, I don't know if I'm like going to find something that I feel confident in or like that I feel like fits my body type. I just have a very curvy body type and there's nothing wrong with that, but I know I'm not the skinniest girl in the world. And, and, and again, nothing, not, like I'm not trying to be the skinniest girl in the world, but like especially in white, like a light color. It's just so hard to hide those imperfections. And look, I'm just being real. Like I know Pete, there's going to be people who comment on here and be like, every part of you is perfect. Like everybody has a perfect body and I'm not going to go into all of that, but like, you know, you all, everyone has their insecurities. And for me, like I want, I, 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 I just thought it would be brought out, like very much brought out in a wedding dress. And I was pleasantly surprised that like, the one dress I picked, it was something that was form-fitted. Okay, I'll give you that. It was form-fitted. And I loved it. Like, I thought it was perfect for me. I thought it highlight, like, I thought it complemented my body type very well. I guess I was going into today, like, I, I already braced myself. Like, it might be, it might, like, I might have a bad time doing this. And I... I just left with like the biggest smile and I was looking through the photos cause they, you know, they were taking videos and pictures on my phone and like, you can just see the smile on my face. It was just so genuine. And then they clip the veil in when it's like the, the one that you love and it just, it just feels so real. And for a while, like I, I, when we got engaged, like that was such an amazing moment. You're like on cloud nine and then Jack left to basic training and we've been here and we've just been like doing life. I just felt like we were kind of like almost on a pause for wedding for wedding um planning because he was gone and then you know we're doing a longer engagement we're doing a two-year engagement so it, it just it's it, it feels drawn out like we still have a, a year and three months till our real wedding date but 
today I feel like we just took like 10 steps forward and I know in February when I go home to Florida I'm gonna feel like we're going 20 steps forward because we're gonna see the venue we're doing the engagement photo shoot we're going to a couple more bridal boutiques to try on dresses and I want to do that like even though I truly feel like I found the one today and I was telling the girls there I was like I hope that I picked this one dress that I tried on first for the plot like how great like I went to four different stores and the first dress I ever tried on that was it like I I'm manifesting that this is the plot because a I just love this bridal boutique and I want to support them and they're just great human beings wild blooms boutique here in Wappingers and I am obsessed with them like everyone who works there everyone like they just make you feel like your family they make you feel like you're the prettiest girl in the world and I like it's everyone's job to do that in bridal. I get that. And I'm sure I'm going to love all these other ones, but just I'm, I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving it. So yeah, that that's my Wednesday night. This is what we did tonight. And Jack ended up going to trivia. Katie went with me to the appointment. So I had one friend there and it was just, it was perfect. Like I knew I didn't want to bring like a big entourage of people. Not that I have a big entourage of people to bring up here. Um, but I know in Florida, like I'm only bringing my mom and my two cousins and like those would be like the maid of honors in my wedding and that's it. I don't want any more opinions. Just the bridal staff too. They were like such hype women. Like I love them and I felt like I had enough people there with them too. And they were just like, they were rooting for my favorite one too. They were like, that's it. That's the one. And it was just good. It was good, genuine energy. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like a whole dang bride. I can't believe it's finally my turn. Well, in 2025, but we're making progress, guys. We're making progress. I genuinely want to share and send this picture to everyone in my phone contacts, and I've sent it to my mom and Jack's mom, but, like, it is killing me. It's killing me. This is going to be the hardest part, not showing Jack the dress for a year and three months. Oh, how do you do it? Brides, give me your tips. Past brides, give me your tips. Like, I show him everything. All my cute new clothes, I'm always like, Jack, look what I got. And so I don't know how, how am I going to do this? Like, how am I going to do this? Oh. Hi guys, just getting home from work. It is Saturday now. It's been a couple days since I chatted from like the wedding dress high, but still loving it. Every day this week, I've been looking at my camera roll, staring at the photo. My mom's obsessed with it. I really haven't shown that many people, but okay. Moving on from that, um, Jack is on a trip. He is helping out a drumline in... The Nashville area, one of the former drumlines he used to help teach, so they flew him out. He's going to be like a guest clinician, guest instructor for the weekend. But it's also like a duo because he gets to go see his best friend Chun, who you all have seen on this YouTube channel before. That is his former roommate. And then he also stopped by his old job. It was so sweet. So yeah, he's gone for the weekend. He's coming back tomorrow, which I don't even know if he's going to be able to fly back in because we're supposed to get a crazy like winter storm this weekend. So it is like super eerie out. Like it is, what time is it? 4.31, how dark it is. When I came home from work, guys, there was like no one on the road. It just felt so like dark and spooky. And like, you could just tell people were at home, not trying to be outside during this, whatever this snow may be. So nothing has hit yet. Um, and it really doesn't even feel like it's about to, but I don't know, we'll see. I will record it. Cause this will be our first like big snow here. So I'm excited to see it and not be outside in the elements. Now I'm trying to make some dinner and it is kind of like, let's throw some stuff in a blender and throw that in a pot and see what we can make. I have some like staples. Um, I have an onion, some garlic, jalapenos, some peppers, a tomato. And then I'm going to like put that in my chicken, my rotisserie chicken, I had extra. So this is what we have right now. And we're gonna make some magic out of this because I just don't, it's the end of the week and you know when you have like, like you've eaten everything out of the fridge and I'm just at the point where I'm like, yeah, I ain't running out and I really have been trying to be good at not eating out out. So, okay, let's see what I craft here. <laughs>
okay, this is it. And I just tried it and I honestly don't really love it, but I'm not gonna be wasteful. I'm gonna eat it anyways. <laughs> it's not the worst, it's just a little watery. And I think the chicken is just like not super fresh, if that makes sense. Like it's still good, but it's not amazing. So I don't know, do it at your, make this at your own, at your own will. <laughs> at least I'm honest. The broccoli turned out great. And yes, I'm eating it with my fingers because I can and no one's here and because I can. All right, it's been like an hour and the snow is really coming down. Oh my goodness. It is super cold and I'm like shaking recording this. Good morning, guess what? We got so much snow. Look at this, oh my goodness. Oakley's been looking out the window this whole morning. She's been so cute. So we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go outside and let Oaks have her first New York snow day. We have some puffer vests, some puffer coats. So we're both gonna put them on and let's see if she walks in it. She's gonna be able to stand in this. It's so much snow. My poor baby. Okay. I'm nervous. I don't want her to be so freezing. <laughs> Can you go, please? Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's so deep. Oh my goodness. This is like my boot right now. I really just don't think she's a fan of the snow since it covers her whole body. She's so cute. I can't tell if she enjoyed it or not, but I just took the coat off and she was just running all around. I just didn't grab my phone yet, but I think she just really isn't used to the puffer coat. And that's the problem because I think if she didn't have this on, she would have just ran around, but I didn't want her to like run without something. Like it's really cold out, you know? And I was thinking about getting her those little dog booties, but I just know she ain't gonna wear those, so. What'd you think, Oki? What'd you think? There she goes. Oh, hey, baby. So my landlord just plowed our driveway, but I think I'm gonna go out there and try to get the snow off my car, like the top of it. There you go, you can kind of see it right there. It's just like so much, and I have to go pick up Jack from the train station later tonight. His flight did get um, delayed but he's still gonna land today. Oh my goodness, this looks ridiculous. This is Jack's hat, ew, whatever. It is what it is, I'm cold, okay? But okay, I think I'm gonna go out there and brace brace it all and just start trying to take some of the snow, but it's still like, snow is still coming down. But I think at least if I get like this chunk off and maybe try to move my car out to carve a little path, I don't know. I am such a Florida girl when it comes to snow and I am stressed to go get them later. Like it's it's not even a far ride for me. It's like 10 minutes up the road and it's one main road and that main road they plow all the time. So it's really just like, there's a little hill that I gotta get down with my car. And yeah, this is the moment where I guess I should learn how to drive Jack's truck. I have yet to drive the dang red truck and this would be perfect, but I am scared, okay? I am not a truck girly. I am a nice little Jenna's Jetta. So that is me, that is my car, and that is what I will be driving and send a prayer for me, okay, people? All right, let's go do this. This is the snow to my car and outside my front door, but that's, okay, that's the hill right there that I have to go down and then there's a road over there and so, Ugh, but look how like Christmas Wonderland, like winter wonderland and beautiful this looks. All right, let's get going. Okay, now she's being brave. All right, Oakley, look at her little paws. Go ahead. This is all I got is this, so pray for me. Some work done, like not terrible, right? 
making moves. You wanna go back and help? You wanna go back and help? Okay, go, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I did another round and I think it's about as good as it's gonna get. Like, this is a disgusting angle, but you get it. I just don't have a shovel to get the sides like behind there. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Let's see if I make it down this driveway later. And it's gonna be nighttime. I'm just so nervous. I think I might try to do it beforehand and like carve a little pathway. Oh my goodness, the things I do, the things I do for Jack, this is true love. Okay, so for the past like 30 minutes, my landlord came here and actually plowed the whole driveway. He's like, hey, if you wanna move Jack's truck and move your car, and I was like, I cannot move Jack's truck. I was so nervous. He's like, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it. So thank goodness for my amazing landlord coming up here. So he moved the truck and moved my car, plowed the whole driveway and like down the little hill thing. So I am good to go and he backed my car in. So, you know, it's just a small win that like later on, I'm just gonna pull right out, just like a little whoop, and then go pick him up from the train station. He was like assuring me, he's like, you'll be fine, go get him from the train station. And I was like, uh, amazing. I don't know why I just did that voice. He's a guy, like, I don't know why I just made him sound like a girl. Anyways, very grateful. This is what it's looking like now. I don't wanna like show my license plate number, but yeah, you get the gist. He just pushed it all to the side. And we have a plowed driveway, we're good to go. Oakley was out there with us, running around like a little maniac for a bit until he started like really moving with the truck because at first he was shoveling. So yeah, now she's inside drinking her water, having a great snow day. And I think now I'm just gonna start editing, getting some work done and just hanging low. I'm probably gonna throw on a movie and just couch bum it all day. I've had my snow adventure all morning. I'm ready to just not move. <laughs> okay. Jack's about to be here in about 15-ish minutes, so I'm gonna drive to the train station. He just texts me, he's like, do you feel confident driving? And there's Oakley. And I think I do, I think I do. So let's, let's go and I'll check back in soon. All is well in the world. Oakley has her father back. She was freaking out seeing him. The cutest, we love this. Yes, and that. No, no. <laughs> All right, good night, folks. Hey guys, good morning. I am just finishing my weekend. It is now Monday, Tuesday morning. Monday's my Sunday, so this is, feels like my Monday, but yesterday was a little bit of a busy day. I ended up getting a haircut. We went food shopping. We did so much. I really didn't get much cut off. I told them, I was like, listen, we have engagement photos in two months, so I don't wanna have short hair for that because the day before Jack proposed to me, I got like a chop. I was like this short. I redid my color, like everything. And my hair was so short in all those like in the moment proposal um, pictures. So I was like, I don't wanna have like really short hair, but you know that like feeling post haircut where your hair just feels so soft and like, I don't know, they just like do magic at the salons. Like I just could never get, like I feel like it looks normal, but like the way it feels, it's just so, so nice. So anyways, I wanted to hop on, give you guys a little update on the snow because we still have so much out here. It's starting to melt. Like before it was like toppled over on, on the little table, the outdoor table, but you know, it's starting to melt a little bit on the rocks and the front is like super plowed, all good there. Um, Jack's officially home. He's happy to be back. He said he missed his girls and he made the photo that I put on Instagram, his new wallpaper, which I think is so cute. So yeah, I'm about to head into work. I wanted to check in and when I get home, I wanna do a quick little unboxing with you guys. Um, Abbott Lyon sent me a new bracelet to match the necklace that I had. So I wanna show it to you guys. I haven't unboxed it yet. It's literally like sitting right here. I'm so ready to do this with you guys. Look how cute it is. The packaging is amazing. All right, hope we all have a great day. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, like 10 hours later, here I am again, ready to unbox this awesome Abbott Lion bracelet with you guys. I just really wanted to show you guys the packaging. It is so cute, it is perfect for a gift. This is the same gift as this initial necklace, but it's the bracelet version, like I was saying earlier. So I'm so excited to have like a matching set. If you're trying to gift anything for a bride, this is seriously like the perfect gift. Okay, time to open the goodies. So cute, comes with some paper in here. Oh, and it's all wrapped. This is, they do the work for you. That's the best part. They literally do the work for you. No wrapping needed. I am actually an awful gift wrapper. Everyone at work 
makes fun of me because I literally cannot gift wrap well. And so we would like wrap stuff for Christmas presents for J Mark stuff. And yeah, no one enjoyed my gift wrapping, but okay, here we go. There she is, so perfect, so cute. So now I'll have the matching set. I'm gonna wear a lot of this when we go dress shopping in Florida in February. And I love this brand because it's all like heat and sweat resistant. So you can wear it in sunny states like Florida because I'm constantly sweating there. And then I feel like my jewelry turns if it's like fake stuff, you know? But this is all gold plated and really, really nice material. So if you guys are looking for a good set to gift someone for, you know, a bride or just a gift in general, Valentine's Day coming up, you know, this would be a great one and it's all adjustable. So like you can wear it at different lengths, which is very nice. So yay. Thanks so much to Abbott Lion for sending me this. Sorry if you hear Jack in the background cooking dinner. We are making steaks tonight, but let me put it on and show you. Here's a better look at the bracelet with me up close wearing it. And again, it's super adjustable. You have so many lengths and you can just like, I like mine a little looser, so then you can wear a couple bracelets with it. But yeah, so cute, so chic. The gold chain links are so in in 2024. This is perfect if you're just trying to go get lunch with friends or if you're just coming home from the gym like we are tonight. Um, yeah, very cute. I love it. Well, that's it for this vlog, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you next Wednesday. If you're not already, please, please, please like and hit that subscribe button down below. It will mean the world to me. All right, have a great week. Bye, guys.